It happened early this morning. Canton police went to the Stony Brook apartments to check on a 31-year-old man after his mother called saying he was suicidal. When they arrived, he had set his apartment on fire. When officers went in to try and rescue him, he jumped out a second-story window in the back. The subject jumped from the second story down to the ground. We had officers on the ground, so he was met by officers on the ground. Uh, a confrontation occurred at that point where he would not obey any lawful commands and he was subsequently shot. The man was grazed in the side and rushed to St. Joe's Hospital where he's being treated. Michigan State Police have been called in to handle the investigation. One Canton officer was treated for smoke inhalation. Public Safety Director Pat Nemechek says his people put their lives on the line trying to handle the chaotic situation. The information they had at the point at the time was uh, there's possibly weapons inside. Now you're, now you're dealing with a fire, um, a subject who you don't know what he's thinking at that point, and uh, it all happens very quickly. The two officers that were involved in the altercation and the shooting have been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the Michigan State Police investigation. That's common practice any time an officer fires their weapon. In Canton, I'm Mary Conway, 7 Action News.